Carol, I'm going to need another top-up of the letter. <laughs> this has happened again. <laughs> Good grief, lad. The front door is right there. We're ten stories up for crying out loud. me to clean up this little rose guard. You can start by getting on that mower. That is a fine statement. Oh, silly me. Nice firm grip on that mower, lad. I 
Said he read his wife. Good How will you do, young man? Oh. Almost ah. done, and then I can finally get home to my puzzles. I love puzzles. Yeah. Ah. Wow. I do love my more wife. You and your wife should come around sometime. We live underground, in soil and that. Anyway, I must be off. I've got some worms to suck up into my big mole mouth. My wife could learn a thing or two. Gets that tuppence. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication that I might slip free. Hmm? <laughs> now then, Larry, how about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint then? It's like a normal pint, but I take both my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few bottles about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. You can't get downstairs in your own blinking public house. Well, Florence normally does it, but she's off today. Good grief. Shake up, won't you? Every morning I wake up, can of lager, then I do a big wee, then I get out of bed and uh, go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. talking about my morning pint. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm sure it's beer and eggs already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's pour your pint and all on the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon. Thank <laughs> you. 
One small with vigor! <laughs> it's no Ooh. use! Oh! Oh dear. I need something greasy to slip me out of here. Thanks for patching that money, lad. I'd have be a pasty boy with no good yet. Help yourself to out front back, though. Going! What on earth are you doing with that mop, boy? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. My mum's got me back on the mercury again. Give me strength. Oh, you found me. I'm the Bridgestone. I'm awfully rigid. Ah, no, I just... I'm actually the town bow, if you catch my meaning. Tagaroo, hmm? Grab a hold of my forum. On my mark. Three, two, one. Eep. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. What's this? Twas nary a tuppence. Twas a thruppence. Pray tell, young thruppence, where best to spend ye? Hmm? What ho, what luck! A wishing well! Godspeed, young thruppence! Oh, oh you blooming turnip! In for a penny! How queer! I've never seen a hole as big as that before. Yes, Marge. I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry, usually. Oh. Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger bish down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money in till. No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Suit yourself. Seven, never so gently, best foot forward. Oh, that's okay. I couldn't get it quite right my first 40 times either. It's nothing like walking this.
council says we've got to get these dogs buried by end it day. Uh, Hello there. I've got a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah, I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah, I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a moo. Sorry, little fella, I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. Ah, oh, a fine mess. Don't bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Little Tom Anther is and he crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. <laughs> Come on, get in, Turpentine. Now yeah, I'll do. Spanner is a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Uh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. How embarrassing. Where are you going, you little way about? Have you heard about Big Runs? What's he done? No pies. No pies? I know, that's what I said at all. On a Thursday morning, no less. On a Thursday morning? What are you going to do? Well, I don't know, but I'd eat pie for tea. Oh, well, of course you do. Why don't you ask your Beverly to make you one? Well, I suppose they do with that jar of mustard that I was using. Well, there you go then. I'll be round at six. Can I help?
Hello.